Hello, I'm Dr. Deepti and we are looking at different concepts from maths under the heading Decreations Mathematics. Our focus is on linear algebra and in that matrices. Since the past few videos, we have been looking at the concept of eigenvector and eigenvalue. We got introduced to the concept. We also saw the genesis of characteristic equation determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0. Now let us solve a question where we want to find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix A given as 1, 3, 2, 2. Now in order to find out the eigenvalues we need to use the characteristic equation. So a minus lambda i, it's a 2 by 2 matrix, so we will have i as of the order of 2, that means 1, 0, 0, 1. So if you are subtracting it from A, you will be subtracting lambda from this particular element. So 1 minus lambda is what you get when you subtract lambda from here. And when you subtract lambda from this element, you get 2 minus lambda. The non-diagonal elements will, became, will remain unchanged. So the determinant is given in this manner. If you solve it, you are going to multiply these two terms. That means 1 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda. Minus of 3 into 2 is 6. When you try to simplify it further, you get it as lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 4 is equal to 0. Now if you factorize it, you are going to get lambda minus 4 into lambda plus 1 is equal to 0. That means roots of this equation or the eigenvalues are plus 4 and minus 1. So we have done the first part of determining the eigenvalues. Now we have to determine eigenvector for each of these values. So for these particular eigenvalues, we will first look at lambda is equal to 4. Now the equation a minus lambda i into v is equal to 0 is going to become in this manner because we are going to substitute lambda as 4. So this is 1 minus 4, this term is 2 minus 4. And of course, the non-diagonal entities remain unchanged because in an identity matrix, the non-diagonal entities are 0. So this is your first eigenvector a1, a2. Now this is how the equation is going to be written. So 1 minus 4 is simply minus 3. So minus 3 into a1 plus 3 into a2 is equal to 0. That is the first equation we get. And then 2 into a1 and 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So minus 2 into a2 is equal to 0 is the second equation we get. Now if you look at it carefully, they convey the same message. Both a1 and a2 are equal. You can do it for any one of them. Simply if you take it on the other side, 3a2 is equal to 3a1, so a1 is equal to a2. Now we will call it as t. a1 is equal to a2 is equal to t. So the eigenvector a1, a2 is going to be t, t. Now let us take a value for t. Let us assign it the value is equal to 1. So the eigenvector we get it as 1, 1. So this is the first eigenvector we got for the eigenvalue lambda is equal to 4. Now let us move on towards the finding out the eigenvector for the eigenvalue lambda is equal to minus 1. Now procedure is the same. So you have this equation. Only instead of substituting plus 4 as we did earlier, we have to substitute minus 1. So this will become 1 plus 1. This will become 2 plus 1. And this particular eigenvector we are denoting by the elements b1, b2. So that is the eigenvector. So again, what are the equations we get? 2 into b1 plus 3 into b2 is equal to 0. Similarly, same equation. 
So again, here if we put B1 as T in any one of the equations, so for example, if you put it here, if you take it on the other side, this becomes minus 2T and upon 3. So B2 will be minus 2 by 3T. So for this particular eigenvalue, that is lambda is equal to minus 1, what is the eigenvector? T minus 2 by 3T. Now let us cleverly put the value 3 for t simply to get rid of this fraction. So if you put t is equal to 3, the eigenvector will become 3 as it is and minus 2. So we have, we have got the second eigenvector as well. So for this particular matrix, eigenvalues are lambda is equal to 4 and minus 1 and for Eigenvalue is equal to lambda is equal to 4. Eigenvector is 1, 1. While for the other value of eigenvalue, lambda is equal to minus 1. Eigenvector is 3 minus 2. So this is the answer. Now this same logic you need to follow when you go for higher order matrices as well. So we will look at such videos in the upcoming episodes. Thank you.